ओके एक्सरसाइज नंबर टू पॉइंट फोर फोर्थ प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम लीनियर इक्वेशन विल ट्राई वन प्रॉब्लम ओके ए नंबर इज डिवाइडेड इनटू टू पार्ट सच दैट वन पार्ट इज टेन मोर देन अदर आई डोंट नो द नंबर बट दैट इज डिवाइडेड इनटू टू पार्ट let me take one part to be x only one part to be x let one part to be x such that one part is 10 more than other if one part is x other part must be x plus 10 right i will write second part is equals to x plus 10 because one part is x and other part is 10 more than that that means we have to add 10 to that x don't write single 10 you are adding what part you take in or part you assumed that part to be added by 10 and they gave one more relation see here if the two parts are in the ratio of 5 is to 3 that means this is the bigger part and this is the smaller part don't confuse and don't do it so by the question i will write x plus 10 is to x is equals to 5 is to 3 this is very very important while taking ratio between two parts right here we write down as for the problem okay do you know ratio means comparing two quantities right can i write x plus 10 by x And five by three like this, because ratio means you are compared by division, right? This divided by this again, this divided by this. By taking cross multiplication, by taking cross multiplication, do you cross multiplication? This will be multiplied by this, and this is multiplied by this. Is nothing but cross multiplication. We know, I think so. So this is multiplied by this. Three times x plus ten is equals to five times x. Now I have uh, a linear equation, right? Here after you know how to do it, right? Yesterday I also explained how to simplify linear equations, right? Three times x, three x. Three times ten, thirty is equals to five x. I would like to write variables one side. Here five x is bigger than three x, so the plus quantity will come this side. It is minus quant. This is plus three x. I am sending from left to right because at right I have big number. Five x is bigger than three x. So then here we have only thirty. Thirty is equals to five x minus three x. We know. 5x minus 3x, we get only 2x. Then 30 divided by 2 gives x. This is how many times? 50. So my one part is how much? My one part is how much? 15. The other part is how much? 15 plus 10. Okay. Now I will write. Part of number fifteen. Second part of number fifteen plus ten because 
10 more than the first part. How much? 25. But I need to write the number, right? Find the number. Find the number. Find the number means we add two parts, right? What is the first part? 15. What is the second part? Total how much? No, this is the first part and this is the second part. 40. 40 is my whole number that divided into 15 and 25. That's keeping. You write it at last. The number is 40. The first part is 15 and second part is 25. 15 by adding 10, we get 25. Is it clear? 